This is my fridge. Story. Story. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Brian Lagerstrom. I make videos on YouTube. I'm a chef and this is my fridge story. When I look at my fridge, it says to me that I'm relatively organized. There's lots of containers in here that keep things kind of siloed and compartmentalized, but it's also kind of functional. It's not like a pretty interior. Things are kind of where they need to be. And this is where I shoot YouTube videos for the internet. So all the food in here is kind of food that's gonna be used on the channel. Right now, I've probably got like two dozen containers of food in here. This was used in a video yesterday. There's some sauces in here from last week. And yeah, there's definitely like stuff that needs to be cleaned out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. This is a pretty light load for delis. <laughs> My favorite thing in the fridge right now is probably this wild smoked salmon. I started treating myself to it recently. It's kind of expensive, but it makes for a premium breakfast. <laughs> so I'll make like a piece of sourdough toast and spread a bunch of cream cheese on it, then some smoked salmon on top, and then some everything bagel seasoning. So it's kind of like a everything bagel vibe, but without having to like have a whole bagel. I just got these last week for a cow soy video, which is like a coconut flavored Thai soup. This is pickled soured mustard. Um, looks really gnarly and kind of like swampy in the bag, but super crunchy, really kind of bright and lactic, almost like sauerkraut actually. And like, this is a super cool thing to have in a fridge for all kinds of different stuff. There's one thing in here that I figured out recently that I'm in super in love with, and that's fresh chai. There's some other YouTubers uh, named Eamon and Beck. Their channel is pretty awesome. And they own this uh, chai company where they make like wet, fresh chai. So there's tons of like ginger and spices in here. And it's like really, really flavorful compared to the chai that I've had in the past. Ginger sparkling water from Whole Foods, 365 brand. It tastes like ginger ale, but it's not sweet. And when you're like a grown up, sparkling water becomes a pretty important part of your life. So I've got multiple varieties, but the ginger is my favorite for sure. Pickled golden raisins. And it's just sugar, vinegar, and golden raisins. They get all plump, they're sweet and sour, and they're great for salads. They go with roasted vegetables. You can make like a condiment for roasted meats that I might do sometime this summer when grilling comes back around. Pickled golden raisins are very cool. Anything that's crunchy and tart, I like, and we eat a lot of fermented foods, but Bubby's in particular, what's up? Pickled ginger too, sweet, crunchy. There's like a theme here, crunchy stuff is like, I keep a lot of that in the fridge. There's not a ton of snacks in here. I guess the sauerkraut is like a snack or we buy these really nice olives and you know, pop a couple of these. Premium olives are a real luxury. It's another thing you learn as a grown up. <laughs> if I was a condiment, I would probably be mayonnaise, but like specifically avocado oil, a bunch of food just came out of my mouth. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> the olive that I just ate was ejected. That's great. If I was a condiment, I guess I'd say um, like mild salsa. It's flavorful, but not like super in your face. Like you could probably eat a lot of it. <laughs> my favorite condiment for cooking is probably fish sauce. It's salty, tastes weird, and you can get like a half gallon for like $3. It makes everything that is in taste more savory and delicious. As far as fancy stuff in here, I've got this expensive miso that I think costs like $14. Miso is one of those things that you can buy as a commodity for three or $4 and it's cheap. And you know, that stuff's pretty good and pretty flavorful, but when you buy nicer stuff, like there is a huge difference in terms of quality and flavor. So every once in a while, it's worth it to invest in something like this. It's lasts forever too. You don't even need to worry about replacing it. Is there anything expired in here? Um, this sourdough starter hasn't been fed in like three or four months and there's a bunch of alcohol sitting on top, that's not ideal. It's pretty fresco, but the types of things that end up sitting in here forever are like pickles or open jars of things in the door. This blue cheese, I don't even remember when I bought that, but it's blue cheese. I don't know, it wasn't this blue when I got it. As far as non-food items in here, I've got a face mask, tea tree. It says it's uh, soothing. I wouldn't say there's anything in here that I'm embarrassed of, but I think some people would be surprised to know that I have a lot of vegan cheeses in here. Like I've got 
three types of vegan cheese. I've got vegan cream cheese and vegan yogurt. I do have gluten-free bread in here and I tend to eat a lot of gluten-free bread despite the number of gluten-filled bread videos that are on the channel. Lauren eats this stuff and so it doesn't really make sense to have multiple breads in the house. I keep my bread, like the nice sourdough stuff that I make, tucked away back in the freezer. My brick of gluten, we'll hide that. When I was like a chef, I probably would have frowned on this a little bit, but now that I make recipes for home cooks, I'm gonna just say it. I'm a big fan of bouillon, you guys, especially like this brand. It's real salty, but when used in moderation, it makes things taste pretty good. So keep an open mind. One of my favorite foods in this fridge is actually something that I grew myself and we pickled last summer. This is my last jar of pickled red beets. Lauren and I canned like six or seven of these last year with beets that we grew in our garden. We're big home gardeners and they're delicious. The texture came out really great. When you're canning stuff, it's always kind of a crapshoot. It's really hot in there and sometimes the veggies can get overcooked, but these turned out awesome. And as far as herbs go, those are kind of transient occupiers of the fridge. If they're there, they're there for a very specific use. So I'll use them and then get rid of them. Or I'll have like a mummified thing of time that's been in the back of my fridge for like three years. I think this was from Thanksgiving 2020. I mean, I've seen worse, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I always keep a wide variety of sparkly waters in here. Uh, lately, aside from the ginger water, I've been a big fan of Topo Chico, shout out. The squeeze of lime, twist of lime, naturally carbonated, guys, very nice. Yeah, I also love Topo Chico, and twist lime is the best one for sure. I'm glad we agree. agree with you. I'm glad we agree. Yes. So there's like no organization to this freezer, and it's wasteland would be a good way to describe it. I've got some broccoli cheddar soup from a video, some chicken rice soup. I've got a heart-shaped ice thing. When we did the gluten-free flourless chocolate cake, I made it four times, and Lauren wouldn't let me throw it away, so we just have couple dozen pieces of flourless chocolate cake. Oh, and then I've got just a whole slab of bacon. This is from, I think, spring 2021 though, so not like the best. As far as luxury items go, there's not a lot, but there's one that I'm very excited about that people might find pedestrian, but a while back I made chicken pot pie for a video, and I made some very flavorful, very fortified chicken stock with chicken feet, and that's what I've got here. This is the last quart of that, and I've been kind of like hoarding it because it's pure gold when it comes to cooking. It is so gelatinous and it kind of sticks to your lips and anything that you use it for is just made that much better. So I like to kind of save it for special occasions. That's why it's in the back. I wish I could say that this fridge dive has transformed me in some way and is gonna point me on the righteous path, but it unfortunately, no. Like it's just gonna probably stay a mess. And uh, luckily like it's just between me and Lauren from here on out. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking with it. Looks good. <laughs> Thanks again for checking out my fridge. Check me out on YouTube. My name is Brian Lagerstrom, and don't forget to subscribe to the Spruce Eats. <laughs>